The more I think about it, the more I realize that life is dependent on routines. Like each morning you wake up to your alarm, you take a shower, you have a bowl of cereal, a a cup of coffee, and and begin your regularly scheduled day. I guess there's a, a, a comfort in routine, a sort of safety to the familiar. Recently, my best friend added one more routine Cyclophosphamide, an orally administered chemo drug, custom formulated by her oncologist. These little white ovals became a dominating part of her morning, shoving aside coffee, cereal. This new routine brought several more routines with it, most of which involved vomiting, or trying not to vomit. But she accepted it. She never complained. She just adjusted her routines. One evening as we were sitting and not watching a movie, I started to wonder what exactly those little white pills were. She couldn't remember the name offhand, and so I asked to see one of the extras. Printed on the side of the tablet was a letter and two numbers. H49. I pulled up my phone and searched H49, white pill. And I opened the first result. Sulfamethoxyl. That word seemed complicated and Sciencey enough for a guy who only had a B minus in chem. So I assumed I'd found the medicine until I kept scrolling and saw the purpose. Antibiotic. Well, that didn't help, I said. This site thinks you're taking an antibiotic. We laughed. Then, then I tried the next link. Antibiotic. Then the next link. Antibiotic. And just to be sure, I did an image search. And there it was, the small white pill shaped like an oval reading, H49. Even the font was the same. I'm not sure if my heart sped up or slowed down, but it it definitely did something. Had they really given her the wrong pill? Was her custom treatment just a commonly prescribed Antibiotic? Was it an accident? Or or, or a nefarious cost-saving measure? Had I stumbled onto a conspiracy? At this point, we were counting her time in months. If she'd taken the wrong medication for two weeks, how many months could this cost her? started thinking of people to call, of people to confront, of people to beat the shit out of. Suddenly, this little white pill was making me feel nauseous, too. I turned my form towards her. She leaned forward to read it, blinking. Then she refreshed the page and refreshed it. She pulled out her phone and frantically typed an email to her coordinator. We sat in silence, watching the movie even less than before. She cried softly. I planned elaborate revenge plots. An hour later, she received a reply. Apparently, her hospital pharmacy used the same molds to shape their pills as the company that made the antibiotic. And the hospital used an internal numbering system for their custom medicines, and her ID was age 49. There are 26 letters in the English language and 10 numbers counting zero. The odds of her getting the exact same combination twice. One 
letter and two numbers. That's not even counting the odds that two pills would be exactly the same shape and color. One in 26,000. You're more likely to slip in the bathtub and die than end up with age 49 twice. And just for a reference, odds of her getting ovarian cancer were only one in 60. Maybe she's just good at beating the odds. <laughs> I hope she's good at beating the odds. I hugged her, trying to shield her from this, from everything. Her life was suddenly expected to be so much shorter. Yeah, but also so much wider. Encompassing this massive circle of doctors and counselors and pharmacists, depending on so many other people and all of their routines. For a second, I was trying to make it smaller, holding just me her 